Okay, here we have some data from Trackman. We're working with one of my players, Tommy, on a wedge solution. Now, for a couple of weeks now, Tommy had been struggling with his confidence with his wedges from under 95 metres, which for Tommy would be a three-quarter wedge at 95 metres. And then we set him up with a couple of technical changes just to start with, just to help improve his ball contact, or his contact on the ball on the face of the club. And they were for Tommy just making sure his ball position was just a little bit more centred. He had a bit of a tendency for the ball to creep a little bit forward in his stance. Um, secondly, we made a slight weight change, just making sure that Tommy could feel just a tiny little bit of weight, and we're talking 55%, just favouring slightly to the inside of the left foot. And then thirdly, just keeping his head as stable as he could during out or throughout the three-quarter sand iron 52 and pitching wedge swings. We started off, we did sets of five balls. The the top five here were the sand iron, as you can see, the second five were the gap wedge, which is his 52 wedge, and then the third five here was his pitching wedge. So you can see that um, Tommy's consistency was pretty good, actually, once we made these technical changes, and his club head speed remained relatively consistent, and then as, as a result, his distance control improved as well. And then he went through to his 52 wedge and then managed to maintain excellent club head speed here and really tight club head speed and as a result good carry distance control as well. And then through to the pitching wedge got a little bit variable in distance control and this was a little bit more due to striking rather than anything. Um, his miss hits went a little bit shorter and then one with a slightly closed club face here from memory went a little bit left. Um, just see for validation. Yeah, you can see there that flashing shot, the one that went just to the left with the closed club face. Um, so that was more out of contact that he got that variation, but his technique was not too bad. So all in all, the net result here for Tommy was that we realised that his gapping between his sand wedge at a three-quarter swing using those technical changes was a little bit small. There was only an eight metre difference. And then from his three-quarter 52 up to his three-quarter pitching wedge, there was a 20 metre gap. So what we did is de-lofted his 52 a little bit to about 50 degrees. And then now Tommy's going to go out and see if he can, on course, just fill that gap between his three-quarter sand iron, which is working out to be about 55 metres on average, and use a 50 degree wedge now, which is his 52 bent down a little bit. Um, and hopefully fill that gap there and that'll get closer to 70 metres in flight which will make a bit more of a 15 metre gapping between each three. So that's how we can use TrackMan to just provide a little bit more of a wedge solution. Again the data really validates what you're working on and then can help make us some positive changes to improve your game. If you have any questions as always please feel free to email me at uh, stephen at completegolf.co.nz